Hi, I'm Dave Friedberg. I'm the CEO of Ohalo, and I'm really excited to share with you our discovery of an entirely new technology that we believe will revolutionize agriculture. We call this new technology boosted breeding. Boosted breeding creates crops with unprecedented yield and resilience, dramatically increasing the availability of food while reducing the impact of agriculture on our planet. Simply put, boosted breeding allows plants to pass all their genes onto their offspring, rather than just half their genes, which is the way plants and animals typically reproduce. By passing the entire genome from each parent onto the offspring, boosted plants have double the genes and are much healthier, grow faster, and have higher yield. In our results to date, we've seen a 50 to 100% and sometimes even higher increase in yield in boosted plants. We believe boosted technology will transform agriculture and our planet. So to help explain boosted breeding and why boosted plants are so revolutionary, I wanna take a few minutes to walk you through some background on plant breeding, genetics, and then discuss the impact of this new technology. Approximately 23,000 years ago, 11,000 years before the development of scaled agriculture by humans, in a small village near the Sea of Galilee, villagers kept clay pots where archeologists found over 90,000 seeds from over 100 different plant species that the villagers were preserving to plant in the ground over the next summer. This is the first evidence we have of humans engaging in seed collection and what has come to be known as plant breeding, using seed from better plants to grow improved crops in the future. The name of that village is Ohalo. Since that time, plant breeding has been the mainstay of human progress. To feed and grow our growing population, we've had to increase the production of food on Earth every year. And our most important technology to do that is plant breeding. Plant breeders cross-pollinate their best plants with each other, then sow the seeds that emerge into the ground, and then select the biggest, healthiest offspring to use for the next crop. Over many years, breeding has transformed plants that we use on our farms worldwide, making them bigger, healthier, more resistant to things like drought and disease, more nutritious and easier to farm. Unlocking improvements in key staple crops like corn, which was improved from a small grassy plant called teosinte into the giant cobs and kernels we farm today, and driving improvements in yield across most of our major staple crops like rice, wheat, barley, and others. Plant breeding has driven an incredible growth in the calories produced by farms worldwide, which has supported our population growing over 14 fold in just the past 500 years. But today we face a crisis. By 2050, food demand will swell by over 50% as estimated by the UN. Even today, we can't grow what we need where people are living. Nearly a billion people around the world are malnourished with that number climbing in recent years. To grow more, we are destroying natural ecosystems to create more farmland. Traditional plant breeding simply can't keep up with the way things are changing on Earth today. We need a better system. That's why five years ago, Ohalo set out to develop an entirely new technology that could rapidly deliver unprecedented improvements in global crop yields. Boosted breeding was just an idea, but now it's proven and the results are impressive. To help better explain how and why Boosted works, let me quickly share some fundamentals on biology and genetics. As you probably know, all living organisms contain DNA in every one of their cells. DNA is the blueprint of life and every living organism has a complete copy of their unique DNA in each of its cells. What is DNA? An easy way to understand DNA is that it's just a string of genes. Genes are little short segments of DNA that provide the code needed for a cell to make a specific protein. That's it. And proteins are the machinery of life. They do all the things that make living organisms work. They assemble molecules, break them down, move them around, and drive the cycles and processes that we call life. Variations in genes cause variations in proteins that result in different physical traits. We are all familiar with the fact that different variations in certain genes can change human eye color. Similarly, in plants, variations of specific genes can make a plant tall or short, can make it grow fast or slow, or even make it more tolerant to different environments. Different beneficial traits in plants are what plant breeders then try to combine through plant breeding. But that's easier said than done. Just like humans make babies, plants make offspring. And just like humans, they have a mother and father plant. And just like humans 
half the genes from one parent and half the genes from the other parent combine to form a new offspring. And every offspring is different because they get different genes from each parent. You can't control which genes from each parent go into the offspring. It's random. And that's why breeders have a hard time combining beneficial traits. They really just have to get lucky to be successful. That's why we invented boosted breeding. Boosted breeding enables the boosted parent plants to pass on all of their genes to their offspring, not just a random half. As a result, boosted plants inherit all the beneficial traits from their mother and all the beneficial traits from their father. They also have double the total number of genes, increasing genetic diversity, and all the seed produced are identical. This explains the three key features of boosted breeding. Combining beneficial traits, increasing genetic diversity, both of which improve health and growth of the crop, and producing perfectly uniform, true seed, making it easier for farmers to plant and grow a new boosted crop. By combining all the genes from each parent, boosted plants can be created that inherit all the beneficial traits that we might not be able to combine using traditional breeding today. Boosted plants also contain much greater genetic diversity because they have twice the number of genes. We've all heard about how mutts are healthier than purebreds. That's because they have greater genetic diversity. This is explained by the principle of gene networks. Unique genes interact with each other to perform complicated tasks. The more combinations of unique genes an organism has, the more likely it is to thrive. To view this visually, here we show that two unique genes can be combined in three different combinations. A alone, B alone, and A and B working together. But if we increase the number of genes to just four, the number of unique gene combinations explodes to 31. Each gene can work alone, genes can work in different pairs, in triplets, or all four can work together. This helps explain why the increased genetic diversity created in boosted plants actually improves the health and yield of those plants. And finally, because each seed produced by a boosted plant contains the entire genome from each parent, every seed is genetically identical. Unlike what happens today, where every seed is typically unique because it contains a random half of the genome from each parent. This means we can make seed available for crops that don't use seed to grow today. For example, potato, which is the third largest source of calories for humans on Earth today, but is grown by replanting leftover potatoes from the year prior. With Boosted, potato farmers can save time and money, realize improved crop yields, and reduce the footprint of potato farming by switching over to planting their crop with true potato seed. So how do we boost plants? Simply put, we apply specific proteins that we developed at Ohalo to the parent plants. Those proteins switch off some of the reproductive circuits that cause the plants to pass on only half their genes to their offspring. After these proteins are applied, the plants become boosted and pass on their entire genome, unlocking the power of our boosted technology. Here's some of our results. On the far left are two plants, A and B, that we boosted and crossed to create the offspring, boosted AB that you see on the right. The boosted leaves are clearly much healthier and larger than either of its parents. More impressively though, the size of the seeds was over 40% larger. This is a key measure for agriculture because most of our crops actually harvest seeds, not leaves. Similarly, when we boost potatoes, we see impressive improvements in health and yield. In this image, you see two plants titled AB and CD in the middle. We boosted these two plants, crossed them together, and created boosted ABCD. Clearly, the boosted plant is much healthier and larger than either of the parents, and it's also larger and healthier than a regular market variety of potato that was planted at the same time. But what's most exciting is when you look under the ground at harvest. The parent plants only produce 33 grams and nine grams of potatoes in this example. But the boosted plant, which has all the genes of the mother and all the genes of the father, had 682 grams of high quality potatoes. This is why we believe our boosted technology will revolutionize agriculture. We're excited to share boosted with you today. Eventually, we hope to apply this revolutionary technology to every major crop. We are working actively with global industry partners to try to rapidly scale and deploy Boosted so that we can help farmers, feed people, and support our planet. We will share more news on our progress soon. Thanks for listening and being a part of our journey.